Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today we are going to be doing my, I don't know how many hauls I've done of Chantecaille at this point on my channel this year. All I can say is that I do love the Chantecaille line. I've said this a million times, but the products are amazing. The customer service is excellent and I greatly appreciate the causes that they contribute to. So today we're gonna to focus on the fall 2020 releases, but I picked up a few other things in addition to just the fall. Um, so let's just go through really quickly what I picked up. Hopefully you saw on my Instagram, I sort of did a quick overview of the things that came in the mail, but let me give you a little bit more detail and then we'll jump right into the fall and you guys can, can take a look. So I picked up this gorgeous set, which has the Radiance Brightening uh, Essentials. And it's this beautiful set. And in here is the Pure Rose Water, the Rose de Mai Face Oil, and the Rose de Mai Face Cream. Rose Water, I use all the time, and I have multiple sprays of it like throughout my house. I used to have it in my travel bag as well when I traveled haven't been traveling, but still I wanted to pick up uh, another one because I just use them all of the time. So that was one set that I picked up. I also picked up the Bio Lifting Serum. This is not something that I have tried before, but I watched, and I'll link them down below so you guys can watch as well, Abby Bliss White and uh, Just Glow Firefly. Uh, Jennifer from Just Glow Firefly did some lives last week with representatives from Shantakai, and they talked about different products in the fall lines. And the BioLifting Serum was something I've wanted to try for a while, and I heard great things while I was listening to the videos, so I decided to pick it up. Uh, I'll let you all know how that works. Uh, the Hibiscus Smoothing Mask, I have used this in a sample. And I absolutely loved it. Basically, what you do is you um, you put it all over your skin, you leave it on for like three to 10 minutes, um, and then you sponge it off with water and it kind of exfoliates your skin, it makes it look all glowy. It doesn't irritate my skin. For me, that's you know a big deal because exfoliants are, can be tough with people with rosacea and reactive skin. So that is a product that I'm very excited to have because like I said, I tried it in a sample. Okay, so the other things I picked up that weren't part of the new fall line, I picked up the Mermaid Eye Color in Copper. And these come in these little teeny pots. They're great. I just didn't have the shade. And it's just a cream, shiny eyeshadow. What I love about these is you can just do these like a one and done kind of thing. You know, you put them all over your eye. They're shiny, they're gorgeous, beautiful. I like the size of this. Um, it's 0.14 ounces, I think. For me, a lot of times these creams, I have some from Chanel, Tom Ford, Charlotte Tilbury. You get excited because they're a larger size and you're like, oh, this is great, I get more for my money. The problem is they dry out. And so I end up throwing them away. So the smaller size actually, in my opinion, is better. Then I got uh, two more eyeliners. I picked up the Olive Brocade because anything green I have to have. So let me get that. And I picked up the Slate. All of Brocade, Slate. Then I picked up two Lip Sheiks. I picked them up in Patience and Ani. Ani, probably pronouncing it wrong. I think Patience is gonna be like my new travel. Well, if I ever get back to traveling. Um, Anise Patience, or it's A-N-A-I-S. Somebody can tell me how I'm butchering it, I'm sure. And then patience, that that I can that I can pronounce. Next, I picked up another uh, Lux Eye Duo. I got this one in the Piazza San Marco. And it's kind of at first I online I was like not gonna pick it up because it looked purpley to me, but actually it's more gray. So I'm very excited. We're not gonna try that one today because we're gonna do the fall eyeshadows. But I just want you to know that I have it. Um, I also, I know, I also picked up, told you I love, I love the Shine Sky line. I also picked up the loose powder in this little cute traveling case, which I really, really love. Uh, this is in the candlelight and I am going to use this today, the little brush on top. So 
Okay, so with all that, let's talk about fall really quickly. So the fall um, 2020 is a eye trio um, and three new lip veils. And so the eye trio is an exclusive palette of three flattering elephant embossed eye shine shades. There's Selenki, which is a burnished gold, Nanu, which is a soft taupe, and Red Earth, which is a strong copper. The palette gives back to Space for Giants, a Kenyan nonprofit, and their Walk for Giants, a trek through one of Africa's great elephant corridors, raising funds and awareness to protect their ancient migratory landscape. You guys have seen the um, Space for Giants emblem on other Shantikai releases. If I pull out the Tambodi, you see the elephant on top of that lip veil, and that was from last season. And the Baobab and the Porter Laka also have the elephant, the space for giants. So this year, they come in these gorgeous matching tones to the eye trio. So you've got uh, Acacia, which comes in this beautiful, like burnished, it's like a coppery shade. It's really pretty. Then you have Tamarind, which is more of like a burnished, like a brownish cop, like a um, bronze almost. And then you have Plumeria, which has more of that pink toned to it, but it still has like, this is Plumeria. And the shade there, the elephant. And then you get this gorgeous eye trio, you can see with the elephant on the front, the Walk for Giants Safari Collection Eye Trio. And here are the shades. If I put it like this, you can see it better. I know it's upside down, but then you don't have to see the reflection in the mirror. So what we're gonna do today is that I'm gonna use those on my eyes. We'll pick a shade to do on the lips, and then I'm gonna use the cream highlighter and the cream blush from the haul that I did before because I used the powders in that haul. So I'll use the creams in this one. I have the cream bronzer because every time I've gone to the Shantikai site when there's a sale, it's been sold out, but I'm gonna get it eventually. But I will today use the Shantikai bronzer in Goa. So it will be a full face of Shantikai. If you have questions about the bronzer or any of the other products, um, just you know, go ahead and, and put it in the comments below or, or text me or whatever, uh, because today we're gonna really focus on the fall collection, but I'm gonna be using some other products, uh, obviously from Chantecaille. So let's go into the Happy Cheek Gelée. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my finger when it first comes out. See how pink that is? But when you put it on your face, you're gonna find that it's actually, it smooths out into something light very quickly. It's pretty wearable by most people. I mean, I suppose there could be someone that it wouldn't work on, but it's, um, it's pretty universally flattering. I put this on people with very deep skin tones. I've used it on some very pale people. If you're a deeper skin tone person, obviously, it, I mean, it's light, doesn't have a ton of pigment. If you wanted a very vibrant look, it wouldn't give you that, but I don't think you'd have a problem with the shade because it shears out pretty pretty well on, on practically everyone. Um, the Illuminator is the anti-aging face illuminator. And this one, um, this is vibrant. This is what it looks like right out of the tube. And I'm just gonna put like a tiny bit here and then you'll see what I mean. It gives a very dewy, illuminated kind of look. Okay, you can see, you can see already how like illuminating that is. It's really pretty. But um, the first time I tried this, I was in a store somewhere when I tried it and I like <laughs> just sort of sweep, swept it on my face and I was like, oh, okay. Let's go ahead and do the new eyeshadow trio. I'm really excited about it. I just think it's a really pretty color story. It's right up my alley. I love fall. I love these types of shades. So let's go ahead and dive in. So let's go ahead and swatch these. So the uh, first one is Selenki. I am probably pronouncing it wrong, which is the burnished gold, which is this shade. 
that's the Selen key. All right, the next one is the Nanu, which is the soft taupe. And then the last one is red earth, which is a strong copper. Oh, those are really pretty. Real, I mean, very, you know, neutral earthy tones, gorgeous. Go in with my refer number 15 brush into the soft taupe shade. They're very pigmented. <laughs> I just tried to pick a little bit up and I was like, whoa, that, that's a lot, okay. I mean, it's, it's a subtle shade, like it's not over the top, but it's very pigmented. Look how pretty that is. It's a beautiful shade, wow. Definitely taupe, so it has a little bit of a cool undertone, whereas the red earth is definitely more of, you know, copper, and they're calling it red earth, so you get. And I'm using this, yes, as a transition, but frankly, I'm, buffing it out much further and wider than just a transition shade. I'm kind of moving it up into the brow bone area a little bit. Okay, then we're gonna take the um, gold and put it all over the lid. I'm gonna use my um, Sonia G Worker 2 brush and I'm gonna go into the Selen Key the burnished gold. I'm a sucker for like golds and coppers and you know, like when the Natasha Denona bronze palette came out, a lot of people were like, oh, it's just, you know, it's bronzes. It's not really, that was like my favorite thing ever. I just, I, those are the shades I like. I think it's because I like fall so much. I love, you know, pumpkin and leaves changing. I grew up here in New England and my favorite time of year and I think I just associate good memories with those colors. Soft taupe with the um, Sonia G Mini Booster just to go back in the crease. Um, one, of my, um, one of my dogs had surgery yesterday. Bailey, the one that does not like being on camera, had surgery yesterday. And it was uh, minor surgery, but you know, he's 15, so we're always, you know, you get a little worried about anesthesia and all that stuff. but. He is fine, but he literally kept me up all night <laughs> crying. So I, I'm operating on about three hours sleep. Um, so if I say something odd or I look a little more tired than usual, I apologize. But Bailey was not happy. He was not happy. He's fine, like surgery went really well, and there's nothing wrong, but you know. He was in pain and uh, you know, probably mad at me that I left him at the vet in the first place. Uh, so anyway. So let's go into the uh, red earth, the copper. Uh, mini booster again. Yeah, he was, uh, he wanted to let me know his displeasure and his unhappiness. Um, he's on good painkillers. and I'm just putting this in the outer corner, guys. Um, and should be absolutely fine. He's gonna have his stitches taken out in like 10 days. And we're very happy that everything went well and all is good. And we're hoping that tonight he sleep. All right, so I'm gonna go in with uh, my Wayne Goss number three brush. I've mentioned this brush a million times just to uh, kind of blend everything out. I'm gonna take my finger and go into the gold shade. Just see what the difference is when I use a finger. Yeah, a little bit more um, opacity than a brush, but I mean, that's pretty normal. With the Sonia G Pencil One, in the soft taupe shade, the Nanu, and go uh, lower lash line. Oh, I think that's really pretty. Okay, so um, let me bring you in. I wanna do some liner. Let's go ahead and use the, um, the olive and see how that works. Oh, I really like that. This is a really nice shade. Okay, that is the finished look with the olive brocade eyeliner. I will curl my lashes, put on mascara. Okay, so there is the eye look with the mascara on. I love it with the olive brocade. I just think it's it, it adds, it makes it look like the gold and the taupe, it brings out sort of the 
greenish tinge to the gold a little bit. Um, anybody who's watched me for a little while knows that I am a huge green lover, like anything green on my eyes, I absolutely adore. So this for me is fantastic. I think if I had used the slate, which has a definitely a, a cooler undertone, you would have brought out more of the taupe. I also think if you wanted to do a cool tone look, if you put the taupe all over the eye, it would look gorgeous. The same with the copper and same with the gold. I think you could do a one shade look and it would just be stunning. I think it's subtle. If you guys are looking for a over the top, duochrome kind of thing, this is not the trio for you. But if you're looking for an everyday wearable and you love fall shades, this is pretty much perfect. Um, okay, they also blended really well. I, I, I do like that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna use the powder. and We're gonna figure out how to do this. So this is a shimmering featherweight loose powder that instantly lights up the skin with a warm candlelit sheen. Non-drying and ultra-fine, the powder flows through a luxe self-dispensing vegan brush that releases the perfect amount of powder and seals securely with zero mess. You know, when I was traveling, this would have been like the best thing ever. So it's like the um, concealer pen basically comes out in the middle there. Yep, and you got the powder in the middle. Okay, now that I know how it works, there's this little sleeve and basically the sleeve, you can, you'll see like the powder maybe, see how it falls out? Not that I want all the powder to fall out, but I wanted you to see. So then you push it up and down and then it dispenses the powder through the middle. And so I'm gonna push it on like this. The brush is actually pretty nice for a, you know, little travel brush. Okay guys, what do you think? I think that looks really beautiful. It does have like a candle lit glow. Like if you, if you put a candle here, if I'd actually had some sleep sometime this year, I think this would, I think I would look nice. Yeah, it's really pretty. I really like that powder. It, it definitely gives a glow that I think is really nice. And it's smooth at the same time. It's not just like, you know. Now, if you're oily and you, or you don't, if you're oily and or you don't like like a dewy glowy finish, it also comes in the matte version. I got the candle lit version, which is the shimmering version. The other one's matte. So it, the, you could get the same, um, you can get the same tool, I guess you would. I mean, it's like a, a brush and a powder in one, but you can get a different formula. So just keep that in mind. Okay. So lips, I have to choose one, guys. The only liner, lip liner I have is natural. Um, if you watch my other haul video, you'll know that there was another shade I wanted to pick up. I still don't remember what it was, but they were sold out of it. I went back and looked and it was sold out. I just don't remember the name. So let's go in with the natural and then we'll figure out which, which lip veil to do. Okay, the natural lip liner is on. This is gonna be, t this is gonna be hard. Uh, I kinda wanna try the tamarind. The tamarind was the one that's like, more um, burnt, bronzy kind of shade. You know what, I'm gonna go with the tamarind because I just wanna try it. I, I absolutely love that shade. I think that's so pretty. It does have like a similar shade to like the red earth, the copper, and it's got some color to it, some pigment to it, but because it's a lip veil, it's light enough that I don't feel like I have too much on my lips with a light look. I could say that if I put like the, the red earth shade all over my eye next to it, I don't know, I just think that would be really pretty. Here is the red earth eyeshadow shade. Here's the tamarind. See how nice that is, like combination. If you just did this all over the eye on this on the lips, like it would be like a monochromatic look. I would pair, I mean, you can pair any of these with any of them. I mean, they're all neutral tones to say the least, but like if you put this with the Plumeria, so here's the soft taupe eyeshadow and the Plumeria. See how pretty those two are together because of the cool undertones in each. And then the gold, burnished gold here, so you guys can see it. It doesn't show up really well on my skin tone, but the burnished gold with the acacia, 
burnished gold, and they could also go with the, the soft taupe. I think it goes with any of them, but I mean, if you look at how those pair up, I don't know, I just think those are really pretty matches. Um, the powder, I think, is gorgeous. So I've shown you three powders now. I've shown you the uh, blurring powder, which is amazing. The uh, Eclat Dew, which is more of like a dewy look, which again, love. And Candlelight, which is more uh, illuminating than the Eclat Dew. So very different powders, you know, different uses obviously, but all finely milled and all beautiful on the skin, just depending on, you know, what kind of look you're looking for. Lip veils, you know, I love. The lip cheeks, I'll, I'll use in another video at some point. The Illuminator, gorgeous. The Cheek Gel A, gorgeous. Bronzer I've used before. The Go is a great bronzer. Uh, oh, the liner, love the Olive Brocade liner. Love it. So very happy I picked that up. I'm excited to try out the slate too. I love like a, a charcoal gray instead of a black. I just think it's a really, you know, interesting choice and it can really change a look uh, instead of a black shade if you're ever interested in doing something like that. But all in all guys, I'm very happy with my purchases. I'll, I'll let you know about the skincare. I haven't used the bio lifting serum. So, you know, if my skin suddenly looks lifted and 20 years younger in the next couple of weeks, just let me know. So with that, I think that's that's it for today. Uh, I'm gonna continue using all these products in the month of September. I have a lot of things that uh, I haven't really spent a lot of time testing out. So, you know, I'll continue to do that. I'll continue to use them in other looks that I'm gonna do throughout the month of September. As I've said, ad nauseum at this point, I know you all know, I'm gonna go on a low buy, no buy in September. So I'll be using all the products that I've picked up. Tons of Dior and Chantikai and Chanel. Uh, Guerlain. I picked up a whole bunch of new things from um, Westman Atelier, which I haven't even gotten around to filming yet. So there's a lot to come, but I'd love to hear if there are specific things that you'd like to see follow-ups on or tutorials, like real tutorials uh, on or anything like that. So that's it. <laughs> that's it for tonight, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit like, don't forget to hit subscribe, and I'll see you in another video really soon. Bye-bye.